Seems everyone's trying to go green these days. For some, it's actually getting easier. Case in point, the gym, where in some places it's now possible to create energy by burning your own energy. The power workout in a Fox report now from Orlando Salinas. After plugging into this stable of exercise machines, these students at the University of Florida in Gainesville are burning calories and making free electricity. About a year ago, that's, that's engineering student out. Hudson Haar was working yeah. out when he got the idea for his recardio system that converts pedal power into renewable energy. You've got people on these machines, on this equipment, and they're expending energy, and you're, you're harnessing that energy, and you're sending it back to the grid in a useful form. His company, Rerev.com, has reconfigured 15 elliptical trainers at a local fitness center. Riders pedal hard like hamsters on a wheel, creating kinetic energy. The only reason this light over here is working is because this guy over here is paddling as hard as he can. Once he stops, the power here goes out. The point is this, the more intense the workout on this elliptical machine over here, the more power he's producing that goes directly back into the building. So nothing is wasted. The company says each power producing machine can create one kilowatt of electricity every 10 hours. May not sound like much, but that's enough to charge 42,000 iPods, six computers, or cook 15 microwavable meals. The gym owner says many of his clients have been asking to go green. The normal thing you hear is, is there any way you can hook us all up to the lights so we can like run the lights and the air conditioning? The University of Florida says green elliptical machines could power parts of its own gym. Even energy companies are paying attention. If you continue to grow this and you look at other ways, in addition to exercise equipment that on a daily life we're just expending energy with nothing in return, perhaps it could have a much greater impact. Orlando Salinas, Fox News.